This is the TZ Audio Products Stellar X2 Large Diaphragm Condenser Microphone. Here's what's included. It comes with a hard padded case, a microphone bag, some information about the microphone, a windscreen, a shock mount, and a microphone. It has an all metal body with a powder coated finish, a 1.34 inch K67 style capsule, and a very flat, natural, and transparent frequency response, which makes it useful on any source and it takes EQ and compression very well. It has a cardioid pickup pattern, which means it's most sensitive from the front and rejects sound from the sides and the rear. This is a cardioid microphone. I am currently directly in front of the microphone, but if I move over to the side, I am now at the side of the microphone, and as you can hear, it's rejecting a lot of sound. Let's move to the rear. I am now at the rear of the microphone, and as you can tell, a lot of sound is being rejected. Let's move back around to the front, coming back around to the front, coming back around, coming back around, coming back around, and now we are directly in front of the microphone. And the XLR port is on the bottom. For those who are complete beginners, here's how you connect an XLR condenser microphone to your computer, iPhone, or iPad. First, you'll need an audio interface that has XLR inputs and 48 volt phantom power. Connect the audio interface to your computer. Connect the microphone to the audio interface with an XLR cable. And turn on phantom power. Then adjust the input gain for proper level. For an iPhone or iPad with a lightning port, you'll need a USB adapter, usually called the camera adapter. And you may need a powered USB hub if your audio interface is bus powered. Connect the USB adapter to the iPad. Connect the USB hub to the adapter. Connect the audio interface to the USB hub. Then connect the microphone to the audio interface with an XLR cable. Turn on phantom power and adjust the input gain. And now you're ready to record with pro level sound. This is the Stellar X2, completely raw, no post processing from six to eight inches away. About the average distance you would be from a mic like this if you wanted a natural sound with no proximity effect. Listen to the sound of the voice. It's clear and even with a detailed top end balanced low end and open mid range. Now we are 12 to 14 inches away from the Stellar X2, no post processing, and it still sounds really good at this distance. If you are making a video for YouTube or a podcast and you don't want the microphone in frame, you can push the Stellar X2 out of frame and still get a clear and detailed sound. Coming in closer, now we are only three to four inches away from the Stellar X2. And this is where the proximity effect kicks in. You'll notice much more low end and a clear and detailed top end. This is the distance you would want to be for a more intimate or powerful sound, or if you want that 90s radio sound. Coming in even closer now to just one to two inches away to really take advantage of that proximity effect. If you need to add weight and power to your voice, or you're doing a movie trailer voiceover. Coming soon. One man's fight to save his daughter. Then this is the distance for you. And I'll move back to about six inches away. The proximity effect is one of the reasons why people really love large diaphragm condenser microphones. That and their ability to capture top end detail in a way that dynamic microphones can't. This is the Stellar X2 from about six to eight inches away, and now we have post-processing turned on. Things like EQ, compression, limiting, de-essing, background noise reduction, all of the basic things you would use for a professional sounding voiceover, dialogue track, or podcast. So from six to eight inches away, this microphone sounds really good. Again, a very natural sound, almost like somebody is in a room with you. And because of the flat response 
of this microphone, it takes to EQ really well. Let me move back now. So now I'm about 15 inches away from the Stellar X2, and this microphone is even usable at 15 inches away. If you have someone who's a very loud singer or you're recording a very loud source, you can push them way back. Or if you're filming a video podcast or a television series or whatever, and you don't want the microphone in the shot, in the frame, then you can move this microphone back, get it out of frame so it won't be on camera, and still have crisp and clear dialogue or whatever sound you happen to be recording. So here we are again at about six inches away and I'll ease in here. So now we are about three to four inches away. Again, really getting that proximity effect. I'm using a high pass filter on this. So we're gonna dial out some of that low end, but still benefit from all of that added girth and power. If you have a voice that is kind of weak, you can ease in on a large diaphragm condenser microphone and get some more heft and power to your voice. And we'll come in even closer to really take advantage of the proximity effect. So now we are only about one inch away and that proximity effect is huge. This is what large diaphragm condenser microphones are known for and why so many people like to use them because they are so versatile. Again, move out here about 10 inches away. Sounds good, crisp, clear and detailed, more natural like this or move in and get very intimate and detailed with that added power, that added low end, that added proximity effect, but still a very, very clear and precise top end. Move back out here, six to eight inches away. Again, the Stellar X2 with processing turned on. So if you're looking to add a new large diaphragm condenser microphone to your mic locker, then check out the Stellar X2. If you want something that will work on many different sources, again, it's very neutral and flat with a wide frequency response, plenty of clarity and depth, and it takes EQ and compression really well. So it's easy to shape and to mold into whatever sound that you need. Again, that is the TZ Audio Stellar X2.